laptop is charged. Adam, do you want to hello to my video? Look what Adam has made. What is this? Is there actually chocolate? It's no. It's like uh, what is it? Okay, it's like what is it? Blueberries, bananas, seeds. It's for the gains, everyone. Hello, welcome to a first ever essay write with me. I know you study with music this. I don't studying, I'm writing essays. So currently I'm waiting for my laptop to charge. So I am justifying the I need to literally making as much noise as possible. Whenever you're ready. Where I'm kind of at with each of my essays is I have three. I have 4,000, 4,000, 3,000, I have to write 11,000 words. One of them I basically almost finished. I'm just trying to like write it through into one proper essay. The other one, I need to mind map it in, so I need a structure for it. I have some quotes in it already. I've got quite a lot of words for that one, but I need to like make them actual essays. And then the other one, I have nothing. I haven't done any reading for it. I haven't done any secondary reading for it. I need to figure that essay out. I have, I have eight whole days. So this is like a weekly vlog, but a study with me weekly vlog. Hello, yes, so I, in this entire video, at no point seem to explain at all or very well or coherently the essays I'm actually working on. The first one I worked on was for a module called Testimony, The Holocaust in Rwanda. I chose to write my essay on Rwanda. My title was Fact and Fiction, The Role of Imagination in Mediating Truth and Testimonies of the Rwandan Genocide. This is my introduction. I wrote these essays over a year ago now, so I don't really remember them that well. This was actually an English module and I compared a film and some testimonies. It was very interesting looking at sort of how just because something is fiction doesn't necessarily mean it's not true and just because something is a testimony that means we think of it as something that is true but then you very often with testimony especially when you go through something traumatic like you know genocide um you don't necessarily remember things properly and like whether that even matters whether you misremember things or just because you get your facts wrong does that mean that then other things are therefore invalidated and the part that then fiction can play in fill, like filling in those holes and like how you work within a factual structure and just because you know your the minutiae are not necessarily strictly true does that make it less valuable or useful and sort of how that worked together. The text I used was Tajo a shadow of Imana. You know she's not Rwandan, she didn't go through genocide, so it's like how then you as an author and how you interact with the people who you know are telling you their story and how that's going to differ and you know it's that kind of like what is it called it's like associative testimony rather than when it's like a relative who's telling you about it looking at like testimony like theory was really really interesting but looking at the Rwandan genocide was very intense if it's something you guys don't know anything about I would recommend reading up on it um, I'm Belgian so I felt like I definitely should know more. It was actually especially interesting to write on film as well. I wrote on Sometimes in April. I know a lot of people have seen Hotel Rwanda but Sometimes in April is also a really good film. Um, it has Idris Elba in it. Really good film. Like when you talk about, you know, things like genocide. So it's interesting to be like, is it good? How do I quantify this properly? But I do recommend it. Yeah, and then even the question of is that a film testimony? Does that film count in any kind of way? Does it? Should it? Why shouldn't it? On the theory front, the philosophy front, and just the content, you know, genocide front, it was just a heavy essay to write start to finish, which is why I choose to write it first. The next essay I wrote was one that I know I'd enjoy way too much. It was for the module The French Revolution Effect, Italy, France, Germany, Greece. This was also a module run by my favourite, favourite lecturer, who never gave me anything less than a first. It's not the only reason she's my favourite, but like, I just took all of her classes because I just loved her. The essay title I chose was Discuss the relevance of the ideas of nation, people and citizenship to at least two texts. I chose The Charterhouse of Palmer by Stendhal and The Last Letters of Yakwa Ortis by Fosclaw. I've studied both Fosclaw and Stendhal before. The Charterhouse of Palmer has such a place in my heart as a book. I, as a dyslexic, would never have chosen to do an essay on a 500 page novel unless I fucking loved it. You ever wanted to know how much I love that book? so much. One thing you'll find if you study Complet ever is just like concept of like national identity because they run so deep, especially like in post-war Europe or post-French Revolution Europe, it's so like 
very intense. We did a mo module on ideas of nation, like national time and whatever, and how that all like works together, and especially identity, because it is. We seem to think that this is like a really old concept, but it's not a national, like any kind of like nationalistic, sort of patriotic things as we think about them now are actually a super modern construct. Don't let yourself be brainwashed by it. It, it means very little. A lot of the borders we have are very, you know, recent borders. As well in Africa, hence a lot of the ethnic violence. You know, when white people decide to draw lines on a map, um, yeah, shit, Jesus, stuff happens. Specifically in this essay, I looked at the two main protagonists, Jacopo Ortis and then Fabrice. First of all, I love Fabrice. Um, it was also very romantic with a capital R. So I always don't like the romantics, but I'm almost apparently quite good at writing on them. Maybe it's because I hate them, but it's sort of like their relationship with Napoleon and how they view him and whether they feel, you know, I think kind of betrayed or not, but obviously like they're Italian. So it's that kind of like, well, it's, Italian is still a difficult, interesting concept at that point anyway, because Italy doesn't get unified until a heck of a lot later. That and then like their relationship to Napoleon and like the like ripple effect of the French Revolution all over Europe. Fascinating. Really, really enjoyed that module. The next essay I wrote was for a module called Listening Across the Channel, Sound and Modern Literature. My <coughs> title was Literature represents different oral literary conjunctions. Maureen McLean, to different effects, discuss and whatnot. So I still don't know what the fuck this means. This was the easiest, I shit you not, this was the easier title. I still don't know what this means. I still don't know what this essay was about. Enjoy my introduction because I don't, I don't know what this essay was on. And my mark reflected that, but that wasn't exactly a shock. <laughs> ah, also. I've just like thrown my back out somehow, so now I'm in a lot of pain every single time I move. I did make a lot of jokes about how my spine was a noodle mummy and now it's coming to fruition. I am broken. So yes, I have 4,000-ish words, 3,000-ish words, and then like 600 words, so. Mum, what time is it? It's like 11 o'clock. I've done nothing yet. This is not one of those 15 hour study days. No, 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 no. Louis and Adam are not here today. They've gone for a nice walk. So they're not going to be distracting me. I'm going to sit, I don't know, somewhere with my headphones on so Mum can't distract me. I always talk to you. The most annoying thing that I do. Are you filming? Yeah. Of course. I thought I made that clear. I apologise. I click off my essay. I'll click on to like a thesaurus and then I'll click onto YouTube. It's like I can't have the impulse of going back. Really annoying. Oh. Mum and I have also quit sugar, but I'm gonna make an entire different video on that. So you'll see that eventually. It's gone well, hasn't it, Mum? Okay, what sugary item did you basically guilt your into eating yesterday? Um, did I miss all? It was nice, it was worth it. It was worth it, but that my whole point was Mum, we're not gonna have any sugar in January, and then Mum was like, Damn it, Dearie Miss Sue doesn't count. Oh, yeah, exa exactly. This is my problem. Is like I was trying to look for like decent breakfast stuff, but everything is full of sugar for breakfast. And I would like to just have a sandwich, but somebody like if you live alone, you can have a sandwich. My goal today is to full on just finish my testimony essay by me because I've got thirty percent now written in like good proper essay prose. Yesterday I managed to cut off, like two hundred words, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're writing proper words and then having to cut, it's like cutting the waffle and like. So I think they will. Thanks. That's my essay plan. Also, after the essay, I'll just give you a little, make a little style of lookbook video on what I wore the week. All I did was my essays. It's a look. Half of these are mine. This is mum's book. Have you eaten, grandma? Mum hmm. wanted my recipe for lentil, my sweet potato and lentil curry. This is it. And it's fine, everybody, because I stopped my timer. I'm doing it for an hour. And then mum ruined my timer. That's why I really couldn't even see what I was typing, anyways. I just find it so satisfying. Back to work.
Mum, has it been too soon to make another cup of coffee? What? I'm not making another cup of coffee. But has it been too soon for me to make another one? Oh. What is that a question of? But has enough time elapsed is my question. It's really difficult to write essays. I like word vomit my way up to a word count and I have to cut it down. But as you're like cutting it, you're deleting things and rewriting things. So your word count doesn't really change. So it looks like you've done nothing. And it's so frustrating. Oh, but I also just, this is a really hard essay to like concentrate for massive chunks of time because it's on Jenna's side. So it's heavy. Just like it's really hard to concentrate, which is one of the reasons I wanted to do it first because I knew this would happen. And I just also cut an entire like theme from my essay. So it's like a good 300 words gone. So I'm now, I'm only like 100 words over my word count. Every 5% of the word count you go over, they dock a mark. So it's a 4,000 word essay, so I can go 200 words over. So I always kind of end up at 4,199 words. So that's kind of what I use as my word count instead because I always, I chronically overwrite. I've never had a problem going up to a word count, it's always getting down to a word count, that's hard. Having done like, obviously the first sort of half of my essay, like, I know that it was a bit about deep sensory memory, like an entire like, sort of, I can do a whole bit on it, but then I realised, because I'm talking about like fact, fiction, truth, imagination, it's very philosophical, but that it doesn't have a place. So I was thinking, it doesn't have a place on its own, it can be integrated into it, but it doesn't have its own individual place, so I was like, check cut it obviously on my time lapse you'll see I've got one document and one next to it so I mean I always have two open it's the other one is the graveyard and I looked and I've cut about a thousand words from my essay that are now in the graveyard it's like if I cut it and want to go back to it it's still there it's probably one of the most useful things I've learned to do I had a banana because I'm you know not to try, try not to eat sugar which is someone else's video <laughs> this is this is what it looks like this is what I look like do you, not, do you not like my essay writing a time, Mummy? <laughs> it's so comfy. I know, I'm like the pinnacle of star right now. I just wish that I had like actual slippers. My impulse mum is to look for snacks, but I think I'm just going to try and make toast. Oh, look at the fruit yeah, though. So I've found your bill for kings. Hello and welcome to my toast segment. Don't you give me that look. Would you like some toast, Mummy? She has many brain cells, obviously. I'm just testing with the piston. Mm. Oh god, you're gonna end your email. Mmm, delicious. This is not essay related, but I have just booked flights to go to Budapest for a friend's 21st. It's very exciting. Also, I'll get back from that. There'll be four days and then I will get all of my marks from all of these essays. Ah, that's exciting. I'm excited about it. This is fun. Uh, ooh, I look as good as I feel. Um, I'm doing really well. I'm really, really pleased right now. I now have 3,888 words. Look how like an actual essay this is starting to look. Ooh, yay, look, so I've kind of, uh, uh, I've almost like properly prosed like half of my essay, which is good. So I should actually be able to maybe finish today. That would be like the best thing ever. I feel like a little clock on, this is actually proving really helpful to me. I need to focus and having a timer on seems to really do the trick. I just paused it for the moment. But this is just heavy material, so I need just a quick little break. I'm just gonna go pee, but I did a break. Do you give me evils? No. Oh my god, Louis, do you want to say hi to my study with me? Good morning. I've already had one cup of coffee over there that mummy brought me brought to me in a oh and there's mummy's cup of coffee what a what a beautiful mug mummy if it ever focuses yeah. oh it's so beautiful the one over there is too oh what a beautiful Christmas present oh <laughs> I have now done 75 percent of my essay 75 percent of it is in like nice proper prose and she I just done. 
Yeah, but do you know how complicated this essay is? It's like a philosophical mind fuck as well as just traumatic to have to write. No, because I'm so close to finishing, I may as well finish it today and then submit it so it's gone. Because the other ones aren't like philosophical mind fucks or as heavy going. The reason I did this one instead of having to do the standal first, because I'd enjoy the standal too much. This is worth 100%, standal is of 100%, and the other music essay that I have to write is only 3,000 words, and that's 85%. Yeah. Don't forget, you've got to stay hydrated, especially when you're drinking a sheer turn of coffee. If anyone's wondering, yes, I am just wearing a blanket. Definitely not the only one. I know you guys will do this because most other people just don't film themselves on the internet when they look like this. <laughs> Hello, it is, it's like almost four, which is okay. I've basically, I've finished my essay. <laughs> finished it, it's done. Um, so I was just faffing around with all of the like cover sheets and stuff that I have to do. By the way, if you're dyslexic, you might have a cover sheet you can put on your essays for uni. I have one, didn't have one first years. I'm annoyed about it. So I have one now, which is really good. My main worry with this essay is that it gets too philosophical and strays too much like from the texts. So I've like put that in my conclusion being like, this is my worry with the essay. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I feel like if you like disclaiming, <laughs> we know I like a good disclaimer. I feel like disclaiming yourself and sort of pointing out your own failures in your essay kind of does help the marker to know that you did think about this, like you knew kind of like where you were in terms of like you weren't gonna be like, look at all this amazing, you're like, that is flawed, I know. And we submitted ASAP, which is good because that's the one that was due in earlier as well. So that's really good. And now when my brothers are both in the living room, I have put needles and I've hidden them. I'm now going to try and stick it in this. So that they don't demand some of my food. Oh wow, that smells different. Is all of this vlog just gonna be from this angle? Anyway, I'm now gonna. <laughs> I haven't read one of my. Well, I haven't read two of my texts. It's fine, they're not very long. It's like 100 pages, so I can read that in a day but they're just the letters are really small i'm just gonna rush through it because i'm not gonna like enjoy it oh my god it's 120 pages i figured out that i read like 20 pages an hour so it's only six hours and it's like five now so it'll take me to 11. so no one bothered me i can read this today i will collect all of my quotes and do all my second reading tomorrow am i actually gonna finish these essays on time i have no idea <sighs> it'll be fine it better fucking be fine okay reading time I'm having a dinner party, so I'm eating the appetizers. We are eating the appetizers. That's a good selection. Mm, it is a good selection. I don't know if you noticed in my last time lapse, I was falling asleep. That's why I moved, and it's also now why I've just got up, because I'm like, I need to be awake. I've read 45 pages in about an hour. If I can just do that two more times, I've finished. It's really dangerous, I'm going to eat everything. I'm so hungry. Uh, stop. Shut up, don't tell me what to do. I like olives now. It's a cool development. They're just so yummy. Ooh. Tiny bit of cheese! My biggest personal about in 2018 is that I learnt to like olives. <laughs> I mean, what was your suggestion to wake me up a bit more? What? To sit up in the kitchen? No, it was to run up and down the stairs a few times, so I'm going to do that. Okay. Right, okay. No, no, blood has to be flowing. Blood has to be pumping, mother. Last one. Run up the stairs to wake myself up again. Dead is a strong word. I have to stay awake.
mistake, otherwise I'm screwed. If I do it wrong. I'm not gonna drink anymore because I will. I essay write surprisingly well drunk. Good morning. Aside from having a massive panic last night that I don't have enough fucking time because I have four days. I had to tell myself that I did basically write my Rwanda essay actually in a couple of days quite quickly and the problem is with that one it was just very philosophically difficult and heavy and all that kind of stuff so it was just a hard essay. The Stendhal one so it's basically it's the French revolutionary effect, Italy, Germany, Greece, France obviously so it's more like looking at the revolution revolution outside of France like looking at it in Italy seeing Stendhal, Chadhouse, Palmer and then Foscolo which I finished reading the last notice of Jacopo Ortiz. They look at the same thing but from very different viewpoints. Jacopo doesn't like Napoleon, he's been, he feels betrayed by Napoleon because you know he sold Venice to the Austrians and then they're both actually him and Fabrice who's the main character of Chadhouse Palmer, they both spend their time running away from the Austrians. So that's quite interesting and in how they refers to like Italy and the fact that they both journey a lot through Italy and they're both in exile and in prison and all that kind of stuff so it's very good because it's like the same like two sides of the same coin so I'm just gonna be like this theme is exile this theme is Napoleon this th I've typed up all of this that I needed basically if you're wondering how I read 140 pages in a night um she skim read the thing for the key phrases <laughs> I'm still dyslexic I also finished reading De Quincey's Confessions of an Opium Eater not the entire book it's only a little bit of the book but again I skim read in this because it's about music there's only like two pages in it about it one about how opium enhances his experience of music at the opera and one about how when he's like tri tripping my question was what is the difference between when you're high and when you're tripping because I don't understand what the difference is <laughs> and about how like he hears music in his dreams but this is when he's like not managing his addiction as well I don't, I don't know, I don't care for it very much I don't really care for the full school very much either because it's very like weather very like oh no I can't marry this girl because she's gonna marry someone else where, where, where I'm gonna kill myself and then they literally do like that Hamlet melancholy romantic also for whatever reason I never thought of the term European romanticism because I'm so used to like a British romanticism I'm like I know way more about European romanticism than I do British does European romanticism incorporate British or am I deliberately othering them? I'm gonna write up the Stendhal quotes, I'm gonna plan this essay and then I can, I need to find secondary criticism but I'm probably gonna write a large chunk of it before I bother with criticism because I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. This, I'm actually basically, because I'm doing some poems by Blake as well, I'm basically gonna turn this into a massive close reading because I don't know what else to do. With these texts, as a comparative literature, like comparative literate, literate, liter literatist? Literist? It's not a word. I'm so good at seeing the connections, seeing everything, seeing the big picture. I've done a couple of essays similar to this, like I know what I'm doing. This is about sound. I don't know anything about sound. I don't know anything about sound studies and I did such little of the secondary reading for this course. <laughs> I'm talking about oral literary conjunctions. I'm learning what that means. That's your update. <laughs> Evening. It's almost five. It's twenty-five. I've done stuff today, but I feel like obviously I feel like I should have done more. I always do. I've managed to now write the introduction of my standout essay, which is really good. So I'm really pleased with that. I managed to even move a couple of chunks around to feel like a different paragraph that I was going to have 
Actually, that is my introduction, so that was really easy. And it's just a lot, this one is just so much easier to like write it all together. I know the history quite well, so I need to constantly keep checking it. I actually need to like write it and then like have a reference for it, which is useful because my brother has a lot of stuff on the podium, so I just went up to his bookshelves and like grabbed one of his books, being like, this one will do. Went to the index, found the bit, cooked the page, it's all good. Like, I've got halfway, I guess, through my secondary reading, and because I already have my structure, I can be so picky on what I can actually be bothered to highlight, so I'm not ending up with like, masses and masses and masses of text that I'm just not going to use. So my plan is essentially I think I'm just going to stay up probably until 2 in the morning. Just sit and type and do it and I enjoy it. So that's good. 2 in the morning, maybe 3 or 4. Um, I'm not putting a limit on when I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to go to sleep when it's done. At the moment I don't need to read anymore. I can write very quickly. I've got 3,600 words. My biggest problem as well in years has been chronically writing too much. I've been so, yeah, I'm wearing two jumpers because I'm sounds as freezing. I chronically overwrite, so it's just really useful at this time. I've been so strict. I haven't had to cut as much, which has been really nice. So I've been able to just write sentences properly and not have to be like, oh, I need to reword half of my sentences to cut two or three words on each. Feeling positive because I have no other option. <laughs> two and a half days to write another essay. And it's annoying because it's not like I, you know, it isn't like I cocked up all of my time management. That's not what happened. And my mum's just saying, you should have started early. I'm like, yeah, but I was reading a 500 page book and Emma can't do 500 pages. <laughs> I had to just spend more time reading. Okay, maybe I should have been reading earlier. Had I started reading it earlier, that would have been in the place of other things I had to read for class. And I have a job. Oh. If I can just get to the 8th of January and today is the 5th. So I'm close. Being this person right now is stressful it's like <laughs> it's like i think i've said this is just like that scene in friends with ross being like i'm fine it's but it's gonna be fine because i don't have another choice there is no plan b I feel. Ooh. I was about till five. I had to stop because my laptop died. I was like, oh, I'll have it up for two hours. Obviously, didn't happen. It's now 11. You know, when you feel the tiredness so physically in your eyes, Jesus Christ. Oh, when you feel it so physically and your brain, brain is just like weird and fuzzy. Obviously, I'm going to be doing my best work. Oof. I've got 3,000 words. I, I don't have time anymore. He finishes and then I submit the other one and I never do this one. Just fit out of sight, out of mind. And then have the most stressful 48 hours of my life to try and write this 3,000 fucking word essay. It'll be fine. Will it? It has to be fine. There's no other option. Good evening. <laughs> Vlog. My Rwanda essay is submitted. It's gone. It's officially gone. Done. Nothing to think about now. Except I, I realised I got my candidate number wrong, so I had to resubmit it like three times. <laughs> I finished. I finished my standard essay. I'm gonna make coffee now. Then I read through it one more time, and then we can submit that. And then I have a three thousand word essay to write from scratch in less than forty eight hours. My two four thousand words one are done. Now a three thousand word one that I don't actually understand. Great, 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 great. It's gonna be lots of fun. I mean, is it the latest fashion? It's the latest it's fashion. It's the latest fashion. You don't know the memes. <laughs> I flicked on out of Adam's ear earlier. He got really angry at me. I'm um, here submitting my essay. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Oh, it's so sexy. 
see. Oh yeah. Ooh. I'm just like triple checking everything is all correct. Everything is correct. <laughs> you didn't get a good view of that. I'm sure it was there, but Adam was still working. Adam, get out of my face. Okay. It's gone! It's emitted! One left! One left! So we've got a six emitted, really, really good. First time I have 46 no 26 hours to do this other essay sleep i don't think i'm gonna know her but that's totally fine i've got 1600 almost 1700 um but this obviously this is rough notes this is it's like kind of all over the place like this oh it's, a bit, it's not as bad as i thought it was so then what i'm gonna do is this is the other document i've spoken about this i have two documents open um what i've done is these my serves la 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 Basically, I mean, the Blake is, it's two poems, so I can't really copy up quotes from that, I just kind of take and when I need them. It's actually like two pages <laughs> of this, what I need, so I'm not really like focusing on this. I've got my secondary readings, I'm going to finish them, send them my quotes to my laptop, I annotate it on my dad's iPad, but then I add it back here, so then I can highlight everything and copy and paste it really, really quickly. Then once I've got that, I'm going to kind of go through this, see what all my ideas were, then I mind map them. And then once I've done the mind map, I use the mind map, form the structure, then I form the structure, then I drag everything under the relevant bits, then that's kind of like my abstract, and then, you know, delete all the useless shit, and that becomes the, like, template for your essay, then you write the introduction, and then you write the essay, I sort of figure out what percent I'm on in terms of, like, I've written a thousand words of flat proper essay prose, it means I've done, like, 33% of my essay, yay, then do conclusion, bibliography, the let, proofread, the let, see, that's, this is my system, woo. -hoo. I've now run out of ways to procrastinate. I submitted my other two essays. I have to do this essay. I don't want to do this essay because it's confusing and it's hard and I don't want to do it, but I have to do it. So it's like, it's like the worst thing in terms of procrastinating that I do, the absolute worst thing. And I get so angry at myself, but I, I keep watching on YouTube, like just clips of Family Guy and The Simpsons and the worst one is Say Yes of Dress. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I'm just like judging these ladies like, choices on dresses going like, oh no, that's off, I don't know, uh, like, how do I stop doing this? It's painful. Also, I don't know what's up with my eyes. Oh wow, that's actually worse than I thought it was. My eyes are so strained and they are so tired. Next 24 hours and then it's over. Then it's over for another term. But the Easter ones always seem to like, you just have more time. I don't know how to explain that, but you always seem to have more time. And then that's it for this degree. Whew, these three essays count for like a quarter of my degree. Icon. Fashion icon. What can I say? What can I say? Now this is how I'm procrastinating. This is now what I'm doing instead. <laughs> right. This is enough. Fucking hell. Just go work. Ah. This is the only way that I can structure. Mm. How do you structure? First I structure, then I like. How do you do that? So I do all my mind up. Get in, aren't you? In the armchair, that's what makes the armchairs to a crest. That is man, that is um, that's my thing. It's yeah. like whatever gets the most branches yeah. off is yeah. obviously yeah. the most important thing. Yeah. How do you do that? How do you even have to do that? If all of my ideas you aren't in the same place, how can I do that? Every single essay in my ever read has been born out of this system. Well, if it works for you, that's fine. I could not possibly. When all of this is done, I'm going to make a video about how I mind map and how I structure essays because if you're dyslexic your way doesn't work i have no idea how you i have no idea how you essay right as a result this is why i can't do exams either i understand that this is the budget the literature represents different okay
it's over. I feel weird now. Like I don't know what to do with my life. I had a shower, I've done makeup, I've put proper clothes on. It's like I'm a member of society again. Instead of a hermit who hasn't actually left the house since the day I've arrived. On the second. The oh, first. Yeah. Even worse than I thought it was. Oh so, yeah. This massive cold for me to just take out of my hands. Potentially, we are now going to go see a favourite, which is my Essex and Bishan treat. And it's very excited. <laughs> I was actually just filming my little <laughs> student lookbook. I'm sure you've seen it. <laughs> and it was going on the internet forever, lol. Anyway, so I finished all my scissors. I decided all my scissors are in. Video for you when I went to see the favourite. It was so, so good. And then yesterday, I went to the spa. It's very, very nice. And now I will catch up with you guys in a month with <laughs> the results. And there we have it, my kids. One year lots of months and one, you know, pandemic later. She made this video. We're really scraping the barrel for content, aren't we? I'm just going through my own archive going, maybe I'll finish my own videos. So in the end, with these essays, I'm sure we're, not, I'm sure we're dying to know. With the Rwanda essay, I got a 64. With the French Revolution one, I got a 70. And with the oral literary, you got 60. So I deserved that 60. I really didn't know what I was talking about. My French Revolution one, I did. I didn't know what I was talking about. At the time, was not pleased with these marks. It's one of the reasons I never finished this video. I was really bummed out. But seeing as I'm now doing the MA degree that I wanted to, hi, she's at film school. Um, I'm gonna go hella Machiavellian on this and feel like the means justify the ends. So it doesn't matter. I graduated with a high T1 in the end. I know I'm releasing this a day or so before my deadline last year was for my dissertation. So I know you guys are probably all balls deep essay writing, so. I hope you enjoyed seeing someone else suffer through this. I hope you also save this as, you know, a reward for finishing your essays and not your mode of procrastination. I, I, I know what you're up to. You don't think I know. I would just like a moment of appreciation for the fact that I uploaded two videos, shot an entire year apart, and I was wearing literally the same thing. It looks like the same video. She clearly has range. Good luck with all of your essay writing that you guys are doing. We are still on lockdown here in the UK, so of course I would appreciate any video recommendations, suggestions, whatever you guys have. I'm always game to hear them. I hope you guys are staying safe. Like, subscribe, not with jazz, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye. Good. I wanted to drink my coffee and do that anyway. Bye. <laughs>